So today I'll be performing 12 judo exercises. Okay, 12. So which is really important for your fundamentals. And this is not something to watch, but this is something to do. I'll briefly explain how to do each exercise. So just follow me. All right, are you guys ready? So 12 exercises, that's all. Okay, the first one, okay. So this is called, you know, Taisobaki with uh, Tsugiyashi. So I'm right-handed, okay. You see the box, the yellow box, all right? And if you're right-handed, let's put your right foot forward, okay? If, if you're right-handed, okay, put your right foot forward and put your left foot diagonally backwards, like this. Like this, right? And if you're left-handed, left foot, you know, left foot forward and your right foot backwards, okay? Right foot backwards. Right-handed and left-handed, all right? And make sure you're facing forward because you're you're fighting someone in front of you so make sure you face forward no not facing sideways face forward okay and keep your back straight keep your back straight and relax everything relax okay and we're gonna go forward like this right and okay back to the box and again okay backwards back and forward and backwards and sideways to the left, okay, like a left, like this, and right. So one more time, again, I'm right-handed, so I put my right foot forward, like this. And you gotta keep your right foot forward. So as you move forward, okay, put your right foot forward, and left. Again, so one and two, then okay, step back. Then when I go backwards, I move my left foot forward, okay, left and right, again left and right when i go forward and right and left when i move backwards left and right right forward and backwards and when i move sideways i i move my left foot first left and right okay step out again now when i move uh the other way right side i move my right foot right and left left and right forward and backwards so what we're gonna do here is okay we're gonna go we're gonna move forward backwards left and right again forward backwards left and right so 10 times like, like forward backwards left and right that's the one okay that's one so we're gonna do this okay 10 times you guys ready relax and if you're right-handed put the right foot forward and left foot backwards. If you're left-handed, okay, put your left foot forward and put your right foot backwards. Get ready, go forward, backwards, left and right. Again, forward, backwards, left and right. Okay, next one guys, okay. When I move, okay, squat, squat and step out and move backwards and squat every time you move squat you guys ready go forward squat backwards squat okay left squat and right squat again forward squat backwards squat left squat and right squat Keep going. Okay, forward, squat, backwards, squat, left, squat, and right, squat. Keep going. Forward, backwards, left, right. Again, forward, backwards, left and right two more forward backwards left right last one forward backwards left last one okay right next one sweeping technique it's called deashibara 
Their shibara is one of the four techniques. The sweeping techniques like this. Sweeping technique. And as you sweep, so you gotta make sure you use the bottom of your feet. So sweep. Sweep like this. Sweep. This is not the kick, right? This is not the kick. So use the bottom of your feet. Left, right. Left and right. And at the same time, you know, when I sweep, catch the foot. As you catch the foot, uh, then push down like okay. this. Okay. And the other way, when I catch, when I catch the leg, I push. I push it down. Okay. It's not just pulling down like this. It's not. It's not just pulling down. So push. So that means you have to twist the wrist here to here. <clears throat> twist the wrist to push it down like this. Use the palm, this part, the palm, to push the judogi down <clears throat> like this. Okay, so like this, one and two, one, two. But today, there's shibarai. So you take a right, you know, you take a step first. So let me show you. So here, take a step and sweep. Okay, here, take a step and sweep. Again, one, two. Step out, okay, one, two. Step out, one, two. One, two. So take a step first. Take a step and as a step. So my toes are facing that way, you know, facing out. That's okay. Okay. Take a step and sweep all the way. Sweep all the way through. The other way, exactly the same idea. Take a step. Okay. Step and sweep. You don't want to miss the opportunity, right? So once the timing comes, when the timing comes, so you reach the leg. You want to reach the leg. So step, step and sweep. One, two. Okay, when you, when you get used to this step, you know, the steps are, can be one, one step. It's not like, you know, one and two. It can be one step. So like a one. I just step and sweep at the same time. So step, take a step, take a step and sweep. Almost one motion. Okay, one step. One more time. Here, then here to here. Step out like this. All right, guys. Okay, ready? Okay, five times only five times each. Ready? Left first. Okay. Go one. Okay, step out. Right. Step out. Left. Step out. Right, step out, left, step out, right, step out, left, step out, right, step out, two more, left, step out, right, step out, left, and last one. <clears throat> yes, okay, good, good, good. Okay, when you sweep well, you can you can make some noise by sweeping the mat. Like that's a good sign. Okay, you, you don't wanna sweep in the air. Not like this. Not like this. Sweep on the mat. On the mat. Okay, so next one, we're going to work on also the right. So I'm gonna use the wall. I put my right hand on the on the wall. Then I face out. And as you step, I wanna I want to say it's you know just a one step. Step and Lift the leg up at the same time. Like one. Okay, again, here, step out. Like one. It's not like, you know, one and two. It's going to be too slow for a real situation. Okay, if you take two steps, it's going to be too slow. So, step and kick the other leg up at the same time. And it, it's important for the first step. So, I bend my knee like this. I bend my knee to keep my balance. So make sure your knee is bent. This knee, the, the, the first step. Step, step and, so one and two. As you finish your throw, sweep all the way through. Here, one and sweep, sweep all the way through by bending your back. Okay, bend your back as you finish. Okay, again, here, one and bend your back. Okay, use the core, core muscle to sweep all the way through. This is a bad example. Here, then here. This is a 
a bad example. You can bend your back all the way. Just sweep all the way through. So one and two. Ready, go. One. Then yes. All the way. Okay. And two. Step out. Three. Four. Step out. Five. Six. Seven. One step, one step. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. So next one, let's work on coach guy. Forward and backwards. So as you go forward, so forward foot, right foot, right. And just imagine you, you're going to replace the first foot. So one and two. Again. Step, step, and replace and three. So one and two. Two steps. Again, relax. One and two. Okay, it's not like one, two, three. It's not three steps. Two steps. One step. So I'm right handed again. So I put my right foot first. If you're left handed, your left foot forward. One and replace the first foot and sweep. So sweep in this way. All the way. This is also one of the foot techniques, the sweeping technique which means you sweep all the way through. So one and two, you know, this is for, you know, going forward. And when I go backwards, when I move backwards, I move my left hand diagonally backwards here. So here, here to hip, here to hip, here to hip. So now I create space here. If my leg, left leg stays here, I can't, <coughs> I can't sweep well. Okay, I have to open up space here. So right here. Now I've got some space to sweep. So one and two. Okay, one and two. One and two. Okay, forward and backwards. Here to here, here to here, and sweep. You know, this is backwards throws. You're not supposed to lean backwards. You're supposed to lean that way, you know, lean the way you're throwing, even backwards. So lean forward. You can lean forward the way you're throwing. Okay, so like one, and backwards, and the same, your body goes, you know, forward. So you're gonna mix it up. So forward and backwards. Okay, back and forth. I want to cover like four directions uh, next time, but today let's focus on back, you know, forward and backwards. So today, so don't worry about your hands. Just focus on your steps. Forward and backwards. Forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. Keep going. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. So for coach, guy, yes, you can go four directions, forward, backwards, backwards, left and right. So today we covered like forward and backwards. So next one, we're gonna we're gonna strengthen our arms. If you're right-handed, you grip the lapel with the right hand and grip the sleeve with the left hand. And if you're left-handed, you grip the lapel with the right uh, left hand and grip the sleeve with the right hand. So this is your, you know, grip position, your hands position for your grip. Right-handed and left-handed. Right-handed and left hand, right? So we're gonna do the push-ups from the, you know, your grip position. From here, just imagine. So you're fighting someone taller and bigger than you, and they go, ah, pull, ah, pull you like this. So you have to ah, push them away. 
to maintain space, right? You have to push them away to create and maintain space. So you have to use, you know, your your muscles around your arms, <clears throat> push, right? So from here, we're gonna do the push-ups from this hand position. So push up here to one, and we're gonna switch your hand position here to here. Now, you know, left-handed, you're gonna be left-handed, and two, and switch your hand position, and three. So it's gonna be, look like this. So as right-handed first, so put your hands on the mat, and push up, now switch your hands. Now as left-handed, and push up. And switch your hands position again. Again, I I switch to uh, right-handed again. So we're gonna switch our hands. Okay, like okay, right-handed. Okay, switch. Left-handed and switch. Right-handed. Okay. Okay, as right-handed. Your right hand up and left hand down. Okay, ready? Go one. Switch your hands. Two. Switch your hands. Three. Switch your hands. Four, keep going. Five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The grip strength. Number six. Mm, okay, this is also very important. Okay, this is a holding exercise. So you don't need any any your partners. Okay, so just here relax. And it's a pulling exercise here, like this here. Here and here. Here to here. So pull the way you're throwing. This is for your four throws. So here to here, pull. No. And here to here. This is for, you know, Morote Senage. Your tail touch. Your Uchumata. Any four throws. Almost the same direction. You have to pull. You have to pull. Do you know why you have to pull? Yes. So you gotta pull to get them off balance. You have to break the off, you know, break the balance by pulling. Of course, you gotta pull snap. Not like this. Arr, pull. Explode. Boom. Here to here like this. Here and here. Again. Here and here. So as you pull, so make sure your elbow goes out, okay? Your elbow goes out and twist the wrist, pinky coming up. Pull the way you're throwing, that way, okay? That way. So, so many people pull the wrong way. So okay, pulling down here, pulling, sideways you know you have to pull the way you're throwing okay which is that way so here pull the way you're throwing and finish your throw pull the way you're throwing that way and finish your throw i'm facing that way and pull just pull the way the pull the direction your opponent is facing and as you pull use the whole body okay use the whole body you're not the robot okay you're not like uh, uh, you're not a robot like this. So use the whole body like a spring, you know, spring. Here, you know, spring. Spring and explode as you pull. Come down and as you come up, right? As you come up the way you're throwing. Here to here. So pull, right? Here and pull. Especially focus on your knees, okay? Let's try to use the knees. Come down. And up like this. Use the whole body, especially your knees. You guys, first of all, let's relax. Okay, relax. So bend your knees. Okay, go one. Okay, again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. 10. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, that's the way you're throwing. Okay, just keep in mind, that's the way you're throwing. Don't pull the wrong ways for your full throws. Next one. Uh, okay, this is like a pulling exercise for Newaza. Okay, pulling exercise. So pull, okay? So you don't need, you know, much space. 
You don't need much space, but let's get on your stomach, right? And pull. Then you can step out. Okay. Step back again. Pull. Step back and pull. So as you pull, okay, two series. Here, okay. So here to here. Pull. And twist. In judo, it's super important to use your uh, use your uh, wrist. Okay, not like this. Uh, you want to use your wrist. You know, this is you know really important in judo. In the water, you gotta use your you, you gotta use your wrist freely. Okay, so grip and pull and then twist, right? Twist, twist. So <clears throat> pull and twist as you as you pull. After pulling, let's switch your hips here to here. Switch your hips. Pull and switch. Okay, switch onto your hips again. Step out again. Pull and switch. And you don't want to come up too high as you switch your hips. Okay, so here, stay low. You don't want to come up too high like this. You know, this is a bad example, right? Okay, pull and switch your hips. Okay, step out. Pull, switch your hips. The other way. Okay, step out. Pull, switch. Step out. Pull, switch. Step out. Pull, switch. The next exercise is for your, you know, grip. You know, if you have your judo belt, you can make this kind of kind of thing. You can you can tape around the belt like this. So what we're gonna do is here, okay? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Each time. And if you don't have judo belt for now, maybe you can use a towel. You know, anything. Your t-shirt, anything. Anything you can grab here. Let go and grab. Let go and grab. Let go and grab. Like this. The whole point is you grab. Let go and grip. Let go and grip each time. All the way. Uh, uh. Let go and grip. Let go and grip. Let go and grip. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Maybe you can do this you know, a thousand times a day. And the next one, number nine. This, you know, this exercise is good for your Tai Sabaki. Tai Sabaki means your body movements. You know, this exercise I'm gonna show is good for your Tai Sabaki. You know, Serenage, go right, right side Serenage. Now, left side, left side Serenage. Out, right side Serenage. Out and left. Right and left, like this. We're gonna go alternate, left and right, left and right, you know. Put the right foot diagonally forward. One, right. Put the right foot diagonally forward and rotate, step back. Now put your left foot. Left foot comes diagonally forward and rotate. Step back again, right foot, rotate. Out, left and rotate out right and left alternate okay again this is really good for your Thai Sabak ready relax go one step out and left step out right step out left out right out left out right out left, out, left. Out, last one, right, out, and left. You know, the point here is you wanna explode, <clears throat> explode and relax. Again, explode, relax, and explode and relax. You wanna control your speed. Next one, three more, next one. So, Tayotoshi move. So, you see the box, the yellow, yellow mark, right? And you see the uh, red, like a triangle. You know, there's a triangle like this here. So uh, the yellow box and uh, red. The first foot comes at the top of the triangle. Okay. Right foot comes at, at the top of the triangle. So snatch, 
diagonal, okay? Uh, in the middle of it, okay? So here, one, and two, three. You can just imagine someone, you know, your opponent is standing in front of you. And put the right foot in the middle, but not this deep, okay, right here. So one, and two, and three. My feet are out, right? My feet are out, not in, but out. And, you know, I'm a little bit this way because he's standing here. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to throw over this leg, here to here, over this leg, right? This is tire push. Again, you know, natural. One, two, three. This is too slow, right? You see how slow it is. You know, don't take three steps. So I want to say it takes two steps. You see a step. One and two. Like one, two, three. So one, two, three. You know, after rotating, keep your knees back to keep your balance. You want to stay stable after, you know, after turning and slow. So we can start from here, from this position. So take a step, the first step. The first step, and then from here. As you rotate, okay, we're going to turn and pull. You remember, pull the way you're throwing. Here to here, pull the way you're throwing. That way, right? And finish. Step one. Okay, step out, step two, step out, step three. You remember how you pull, right? You remember how you pull, right? Step four. Okay, last one. Ready, take a step and go finish. The next one, sayonage, back and forth. Forward and backwards. So when you go backwards from here, you can move your left foot diagonally backwards. Okay, diagonally backwards. Okay, one and two. Again. Forward. Backwards. Forward, backwards, forward and backwards. Ready, go. Forward. And backwards. Again. Forward. Backwards, forward, backwards, keep going, six, backwards, seven, backwards, eight, backwards, nine, backwards, last one, ten, backwards. Last one, this is for Newaza. Okay, now you're gonna pretend, you're gonna pretend you're, you know, you're pinning someone down, holding someone down, like Yoko Shibogatami. And you switch your hips, okay, here to here. Hips, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold them down, and switch, 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 switch. And the point here is, you know, as you switch your hips, do not make any space between you and the opponent. Stay low to make sure you make no space. As if, as if, make no space. Okay, do not come up too high. You don't wanna come up too high like this. Sit your hips, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Thank you as always for joining. So we did you know 12 judo exercises, which is really important for you know your fundamentals. You wanna do this, you know, almost every day to get the real, you know, basic fundamentals.